hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve uh, this one another problem from the distributed loads topic so in this problem it is said that find the reactions at a due to the uniform loading and the applied couple right so we have to find the reaction at this point a and uh, this cantilever beam is subjected to this uh, rectangular distributed load right and this couple right so if we want to represent this distributed load as a concentrated load so then that concentrated resultant of this distributed load will be equal to let's say that that resultant is represented by f right so that resultant f will be equal to the area we can say that this area will be three times this height the intensity and the intensity uh, of this distributed load is two kilonewton per meter right so this will be two kilonewton per meter into 3 so this will give us 6 kilonewton right so the and this this we can replace this distributed load by 6 kilonewton concentrated load right and the next job is that we need to determine the location of that concentrated load from that point a right so as we know that this resultant the line of action of this resultant will pass through the centroid of this rectangular area so the centroid of this rectangular area will be located at half of the this three meter length right so this means that the centroid of uh, this rectangle will will be somewhere here right and this distance will be this distance will be equal to 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5 this is 3 so this length will be 3 divided by 2 so we can say that this is x bar the centroid of uh, this rectangular area if 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 the x is measured in this direction if this if here we have that x is equal to zero right so now uh, if you want to replace uh, this cons uh, distributed load by a concentrated load so we have to draw that concentrated load at a distance of 1.5 from that support a right so this is that six kilonewton force so now if we da draw the free body diagram right so i can draw that free body diagram this will be our beam right so this is our free body diagram here we have that point a and at point a we will have uh, two reaction forces right so one reaction force will be acting in this direction so let's say this is a x and here we will have one another reaction force which will be acting vertically upward so let's say this is a y and here we have that couple right and that couple magnitude is 12 kilonewton meter and it is acting in the counterclockwise direction this structure supports the moment in the counterclockwise direction let's say that this is the moment at this point a this is m a right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that this m a is uh, counterclockwise so we have to write plus m a and this concentrated load is uh, producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus and this is six into 3 divided by 2 the perpendicular distance of this concentrated load from that point a is 3 divided by 2 and then this couple right and this couple is counterclockwise couple so we have to add it so we have to write plus 12 kilonewton per meter uh, 12 kilonewton meter and this is equal to 0 so this will give us 2 uh, this is 2 so this will be 3 so this will give us 9 so this is m a minus 9 plus 12 equals to 0 so from this we can say that m a is equal to this will give us plus 3 this is equal to 0 so from this we get m a equals to minus 3 kilonewton meter so minus means that the assumed direction of the support moment is not right is not accurate so this means that the direction is opposite right the m a is acting in the clockwise direction so this minus sign means that the direction is not accurate right so this means that the m a magnitude is 3 kilonewton meter and the direction is clockwise right and similarly we can apply the summation of forces along 
x equals to 0. So, as we can see that this a x is acting in the positive x direction and this a x is the only force which is acting in along the x axis is right. If this is our positive x and y axis is right. So, this means that x is equal to 0. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write a y and this 6 kilo Newton force is acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus and this will be equal to 0. So, from this we can say that a y is equal to 6 kilo Newton and if you want to find the resultant uh, uh, reaction at this point a so then the resultant will be equal to a x square plus a y square and a x is 0 right and so this means that r equals to a y which is equal to uh, let us say that this is at point a so let us say this is r a right so r a is equal to a y which is equal to 6 kilo newton so, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems.